Hey friends, Greg with the Pennywise guys. I have another rooftop solar washing system. This one's a single array, much easier than the last one we posted last week. I hope uh, we can uh, encourage you to do your own system, but please check out our playlist under solar washing systems and you'll find other jobs we've done. We're gonna be posting weekly more rooftop systems to hopefully you can find one that pretty closely matches what you have and that you'll be encouraged to build your own. So let me show you how it's done. Let's get started. All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, design this out here. I measured the array. The uh, top is 39 foot 4 inches. The bottom is 32 feet 10 inches. And the width of the array is 12 feet 4 inches. Normally, I wouldn't want to go more than the width of the panels. Uh, for the spread of the washing heads, but I'm going to go ahead and use the Van 15s Because the Van 12s probably won't reach so Van 15s will give me that overlap that I need So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, manifold at the top of the array and Then the spacing would be 13 feet about one and a third inches between um, four Sprinkler heads. Hey, I went ahead and uh, built the PVC manifold down on the ground and brought it up on the roof after I had built it. It's so much easier that way. One man can do it. And uh, this end has the uh, plug. The other end has the water hookup. These uh, are spaced every 13 feet 1 inches. So I have four, four sprinkler heads every 13 feet 1 center to center. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to hook up all the hardware and get this mounted, mounted up. Okay, the, uh, the mounting system I came up with is I use these uh, galvanized uh, clamps that I get on Amazon. I'll have a link at the bottom. And it fits underneath the, the uh, lip of the panel like that. Okay, and then what we do is we add a one and a half to one and a half inch L bracket. I drill the holes out to five sixteenths. I use a quarter inch by three quarter inch uh, bolt so a quarter by three quarter a quarter by one okay and let me show you how this mounts up and you don't do any roof penetrations with any system everything bolts onto the panels if you look at my other videos you'll see either on the fascias or on the panels we have no roof penetrations that's the nice thing about this this clamping system okay so we, we slip this underneath there to the flat the flat flange underneath here if it's molded, we would turn it like this and clamp it that way. Since it's got that flat uh, flange, then it goes like this. Okay. The L bracket goes, excuse the dogs, L bracket goes in between the panel and the clamp. Just like that. And go ahead and uh, line it up. You can visually line it up with the clamp. Tighten it down. Just like that. Okay, so the, the clamp, the bolt is sticking out. We're going to put a uh, EMT strap on here to hold the, uh, the manifold. Okay, so go ahead and take a half inch wrench. I'll use my left hand, right hand. Down. I had it finger tight. Okay, and I lined it up, the bracket with the, uh, the, the mount. And tighten this up to about eight to fit 10 foot pounds. So about right there, eight to 10 foot pounds, no more than that. And there's a locking uh, nut here. It was already tight, so let me loosen up, make sure we got the right tightness here. Okay. And then go ahead and tighten up the locking nut right there. That's it. That's how it is. And we're going to go ahead and I'll show you how to put the rest of it together. I use a one half inch EMT strap. I take a pair of pliers, two pair of pliers, and pliers it a little bit so it nicely fits. You could use three quarter inch, you have to pinch it a little bit. So either one, okay? Uh, the quarter inch bolt is already put on there. I use the quarter inch nut on nut. And uh, it's real simple. I use the impact. Right there. You have to back it up with a pair of, uh, or a uh, a wrench you can but uh, if you get it twisted right it'll impact on there really well okay um, and then also you can make the adjustments here and then make sure it's tight okay it'll hold the adjustment 
uh, you can do that on that you can um, tweak it the pipe will tw uh, twist and tighten them down to make sure you got the right adjustments on these make sure you paint the PVC pipe with either exterior uh, spray paint a good quality exterior spray paint I'm gonna use uh, the aluminum color which will match the aluminum frame I'll paint that after I get this done or you can uh, brush on exterior latex paint it's quicker if you just take a, a shield you know some paper and a, a shield to guard this panel and just spray paint it and keep the spray, uh, paint from spraying the panel you can paint just the top surfaces only and the sides you don't have to worry about underneath it's the sun that deteriorates it okay so you don't have to worry about painting underneath here all right and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get the uh, sprinkler heads on and get things uh, going here I got the uh, manifold painted I painted it a, uh, a silver color it looks really nice I'll go ahead and show you how to put on the uh, sprinkler heads here uh, first of all this needs to be a half inch threaded T this is a slip a slip that's glued in but the T part here is a half inch threads which matches up to the half inch threads on the man uh, the uh, sprinkler head this bottom portion here is off of a six inch riser I buy them in packs of tan at Lowe's for like a dollar seventy six so these are seventeen and a half cents a piece and you can cut off the length you want I just cut off the first section so I've got about an inch and a half uh, threaded piece here this here that I got my fingers on is called a shrub body it's got no regulator California we have now regulators inside these shrub bodies I get them online on Amazon I'll have a link and um, relatively cheap and they have no regulator it's just a straight through so it has a half inch threads here at the bottom where my thumb is and at the top this is called the van sprinkler head and that's screwed on okay so we're gonna go ahead and just get this uh, threaded in here get it okay now what there is on here is a let's see it turn around here it's a little bit early in the morning here right there is a indicator and you point that to the left side where you want it to start since this is on the end this part here needs to be pointed straight down the edge of the panel so I'm gonna switch hands so I can use my right hand and we're gonna get this thing all I gotta do is hand tighten it and get that little indicator pointing let's see yeah I got it okay all right excuse me for the camera work here one hand is kind of tough anyway I've got that um, aim that way and I'll make adjustments when we've got it turned on and I'm gonna turn the top valve all the way to that stop okay so as I turn it right it changes the pattern to what I want so we're gonna start here and we're gonna turn this to the clockwise to fan that pattern out to a 90 degree okay I'm gonna make those adjustments we're gonna go ahead and start the um, the water and we're gonna go ahead and uh, get them fine-tuned and adjusted but you can see how dirty it is see that bird poop and stuff we're gonna see how well it washes I'm gonna use dish soap today instead of uh, the carpet shampoo it should work pretty well now this is the setup for the faucet I went ahead and removed the faucet off of here and put a T in reduced it down to half half inch threads because this is a three quarter inch line so then I put a ball valve in a half inch ball valve you need a ball valve because it has a bigger orifice it's about a half inch orifice compared to a faucet that's got about a quarter inch orifice so you need the volume okay and then the injector comes with this short hose this is a fertilizer injector I'll put a link below I get it on Amazon it really works well so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add dish soap and I feel it maybe about a third full of dish soap or carpet shampoo carpet shampoo works the best then dish soap and then just plain water okay we'll do that in a second here is the hose routed up the house 
and I went ahead and strapped it at the top there and did some uh, zip tie work and to the roof. So that worked out really well. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put the dish soap in. So we, were, we uh, undo this plug here. We're gonna go ahead and put dish soap right down that hole and we're gonna fill the injector. By the way, if you already washed your system once, this injector will be full of water as well as the line above. So go ahead and take out, uh, turn that valve at the bottom and drain it first. And that way uh, you'll have room for the soap. All right, we've got the, uh, the soap cycle started. Um, I went ahead and I was trying the van 12 on the ends here, but I went ahead and put back the uh, van 15 because it just wasn't quite reaching far enough. So you see that I've got the spray kind of aimed a little bit that way because the volume of water is here there's only a mist here and so I turn it to where it angles out to where it has more water ending on the edge same thing at the top you'll see that it's shooting out here but that's only a fine mist the main part of the water we want it to land on the edge of the panel so you can make that adjustment by turning the valve body here and then turning that little top ring to get that and that set. I did that as well over here. So you can see the soapy suds there. Okay. We'll look down on this one here. You can see it's aiming a couple degrees on either side away from the edge. That's what we want so that we can have that overlap and the volume of water ending on that edge. You're gonna get a little mist on the side, but not much. We want the volume of water to end on the edge there, as well as over here. So we got a good overlap there all the way down the line. And you can see we're getting 100% coverage. So we're gonna let that go. We'll know when the soap cycle's done, you won't see the suds anymore, then it'll rinse it off. It's a very cool system with the injector to do an automated soap and rinse cycle. Okay, don't worry about a little bit of drips off the uh, sprinkler heads. That happens. Don't worry about it. The uh, manifold is painted aluminum color. Top and sides, don't have to worry about the bottom. Keep the sun from deteriorating that plastic. That PVC will yellow and deteriorate with the sun over time. Came out pretty nice. Not perfect. The bird poop didn't quite all dissolve. Some of it did, like that part I showed you there, but um, if you use the high lift carpet shampoo concentrate and fill that injector half full of that, it will probably take care of all of that and heavy soil and bird poop. But I just wanted to try the dish soap. It didn't too, too bad. I should have filled the container to half full so it had a longer soap cycle, but it went for about less than 10 minutes with the soap. So it didn't have quite enough time to dissolve the bird poop, but the dirt, the dirt is gone. And that's the important thing. So that'll increase the production. I pray that you are blessed, and that you know him who is the author of life.